let's just jump right in and at, let me ask you how excited you are that this day has come. I am very, very excited um, of these days. Um, we are helping the, the, the people that we need to, to reach out to, um, you know, uh, in, in our communities. Um, and I'm very grateful for these days. Um, we have seen nothing but everything, you know, working so smooth, um, you know, from the, from the state to the county to the city. So we all have come together to make sure that these days have become a very successful day for all of the members of our community, uh, from, 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 from the people, through the, through the government. It's it just like things, you know, to the nonprofit organizations, all of us have made this day a, a possible day here at the American Civic Association. How, how much have you learned about our community? I mean, you already knew our community pretty well, but it seems like this process has allowed you to learn even more. I thought I knew the community, <laughs> may I say that? But through this process, number one, uh, I am sitting um, as, a, as an ambassador across um, eight counties in this, uh, representing the Southern Tiers. And as a, as a chairperson of the um, education and outreach, um, I have learned so much. And all of the people that got in together uh, to, to sit down and see how can we make sure that no one is left behind when it comes to the vaccine and bringing out the information um, to, to everyone so that way they can make wise choices as to whether or not it's something they want to do. It, it, it is amazing, you know, it, I, I feel so happy um, and it's like I cannot express how happy I feel with the support and uh, how we all working together. It's not like um, where you're from Johnson City, you shouldn't, or you are from Endica, or you are from Owego, or you are from, no, 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 it doesn't really matter. It is us against COVID-19. And as we all know, COVID-19 has taken the life of many of our loved ones, our friends, uh, our social life, which is right now having practically paralyzed at certain point, at, you know, certain point. So it is something that we should all take serious, which you all, you know, go out there. If you see a neighbor that is a senior and can't get out for whatever reason to get a vaccine, you know, just become a volunteer, become the brother keeper and go and pass the word and, and, and just be out there for, you know, for, for the safety for everyone else. Yes, as long as you follow your protocol, wear your mask, make sure that you keep your distance and, um, and wish you, um, and, you know, pass the information around, get that vaccine, get that information, let them make, you know, wise choices if they want to. Um, another thing that I am reinforcing is uh, we work with immigrants and refugees um, and those immigrants that are out there from the bottom of my heart, I, I must tell you, please, please, this is a humanitarian reason. Uh, come out, get the vaccine. Um, you may be saving the life of your mother, your brother, your grandparents, or someone that is around you. Um, be part of the team or be part of the solution. Um, and, and I encourage each one of you, reach out to the American Civic Association. We have attorneys on site uh, conducting workshops, uh, talking about, you know, your right as an immigrant. Um, you should not be afraid. Um, the vaccine is free. Um, the question that I've been asked is, uh, is, is simple questions um, um, in order to register for the vaccine. So just come out. Please, please, please. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just saying be part of the community be part of the solution, be up and, and, and come out. How much is this needed in the community that you serve? And then how grateful are people once they've gotten the vaccine? I have seen, it, it is much, much needed in this community. Um, as, a, as we work with, with the immigrants and refugees in that community, in our community, uh, you see a little bit of, of reservation at to, you know, where can I go or should I come out? Uh, when they come here and they get the vaccine, it's just like, thank you, thank you, American Civic, for doing this. We really, really need it. We didn't know who to call, where to go. Another thing that we are doing right now is um, 
we are helping those people, in, immigrant refugees and people of color, that for one reason or another couldn't get into the computer because they either don't understand, don't have the, uh, the, the internet, or they don't know how to navigate the internet, or or go into, into the system that we have in place for people to register. So one of the things that we did is that we volunteered to tell the people, hey, just call American Civic. We'll be more than happy to register you. And we have gotten a lot of positive feedback of people that couldn't get in because of the, they don't know, they don't have a computer, or by the time they pick up the phone or call someone, uh, they couldn't speak because of the language barrier and things of that nature, or the phone, they don't, you know, they don't know how, how to get on the phone. Um, to, to make to, to make appointments and uh, things those difficulty American Civic Association we were able to, able to assist those people um, by making those appointments and making sure that they got the vaccine and our goal is we again we made the 250 numbers um, we still have a lot of people on waiting lists so our goal is uh, don't give up just call give your name um, it's, it's another pop-up happen. My goal is to pass it on to, to those other agencies that are going to be seeing more people. And you mentioned you also have interpreters on site here, right? Yes, right now we have the main language that represents our community is Spanish. Of course, I'm, Hispan I'm Hispanic. Uh, we have Laotian, we have Vietnamese, we have French and Arabic right now. In our, so if we have anybody that have issues with languages, just come in. We'll, we'll figure it out how to help you out. It is indeed. Um, sometimes when we work, you have to put together your mission. I don't know how to explain it. Um, you have to have compassion, and you have to have that 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 that, that, that in you that you really want to make a difference in your community. And when you see that all of the pieces of something that you are doing is falling into place, like today, it brings a lot of um, a lot of joy in my heart. And, um, and, and, and it, it, it's, it's like a celebrating life. So, and that's the way I feel today. We're celebrating life. Um, so for that reason, I encourage people to come out. All right, I'm good, unless there's something else you want to add I didn't think that. <laughs> well, April 3rd is coming soon. Um, uh, we, you know, in memories of those that, that, that lost their life here. Um, what a better day to do this, you know, and out of the civic center. Um, I encourage people, hey, listen, um, if you're looking to be part of this solution, reach out to me. I'm, I'm very flexible. I'm always here. <laughs> you, know, um, I, I, you know, we always have place areas that we need improve, improvement in our community. We're always looking for volunteers uh, to help one way or another. So just reach out to us and say, hey, Myra, you know, I am good at ABC did. Um, one of the things that, uh, that, the, uh, that the task force is trying to do is to get more people that are, that are in the medical field that can help us, you know, representing different communities to bring the message around um, um, in their own languages, listening from, from a leader point of view um, to come out and, and help us out with the outreach workshops. So this is something that people are interested to do, especially people in the medical field please reach out to me and we'll cover, you know, we'll make sure that our Zoom go out there to the, to the little parts of, of those eight counties where people will get the information they need and even a pop-up location if we, if we can do that. All right, thanks, Myra. I appreciate it.